Hey guys, second fan of the night. Second fan of the night. So this will be a quick and dirty video, and for more videos like this, go to patreon.com slash dspiffy. Pete and I do a lot of these quick tests, and not all of them make it public. This is the uh, Brian Peterson Evergo. Is this labeled Evergo or Union, or did you not see? He's going to check. Uh, I call it that because this is Brian Peterson's favorite childhood version, and I promised him that if I ever got rid of it, that he could have it. This now, is definitely Evergo. Evergo. Did it say anything else, or just Evergo? Yep, just Evergo. Just Evergo. Now, um... He has since found one of these, so I don't know if he would even want a second, and that point's moot because I have no plans on getting rid of it. But, of course, now I can only... I always think of him uh, when I see these. And this was his exact version. 52-inch, which is rare. Mm -hmm. um, normally, these were found in 48, as we talked about in the last is video. 48, or is this a 52? 52. Okay. And then it has the more less common blade badges, but it has the common blades, and it's reversible. So, okay, we're going to do just a, we're just doing the SIFM and the RIPM test. We're not going to go through the whole test rig because we, this one's actually, I believe this might have been the first fan I ever tested on the test rig. Now you did not have a kilowatt meter. Did not have a kilowatt, so we can definitely do power factor yes. on high. Um, but I did have an amp meter and the capacitor tester and all that. So, yeah. okay, let's do zero to high. You want, we're going to assume it's the same as last one, Big and Rush. I don't remember the video. I mean, the same as the last one we tested that was the yeah, same fan. Now, this one is cast aluminum and not cast iron. Normally, there's exceptions to everything. Normally, the brass ones are aluminum and the black ones, or brown ones, painted ones, brown and white, are iron because they were making all of them out of iron, but it's very difficult to plate iron, so yeah. they switched to aluminum for the plated finishes. But then there's a few that leaked through the cracks... That are, that are aluminum and are painted finishes. And every so often you see a uh, plated iron one, which is rare, but it happened. Okay, zero to high. Little lower than the other one. I want probably, I mean, you could be because it's aluminum. Yeah. Went up to 0.93. No inrush, though. Yeah. No, yes, it is. Never mind. Yes, it is. It's dropping. It, it's, it started, oh, yeah, big inrush. If anything, this one seems faster than the other one. I noticed. Power factor one. Yep. Okay. Let's see if it is, in fact, faster than the other one. I have a calculator. later. That is faster than the other one. Not by a lot, but it is by something. It's probably like a little over 250. Yep, two. Oh, well, you're getting really good at doing the math in your head. 257. Yeah, that sounded about right. I mean, that's still close. So yeah. Like an industrial. I mean, it's yeah. okay. And yeah, I'm really feeling it. Yeah, this one does seem to be more powerful than the other one. Well, I mean, not tonight, but one thing we could always do is test the cap of that other one and see if it's a little off. Um, but it just could be differences in the motor. I'm a little surprised. Normally, I would think the iron motors would perform better than the aluminum, but there's, you know, there's exceptions. Five, nine, oh, 610. Oh, wow, this is more than the other one. Yep, I caught a 610. This is 9,000 CFM. Yeah. So it is a little bit closer to an industrial end performance. Yeah. Interesting. Yep. Again, I think I think if we if we do anything with that other one, we should probably test the cap now that we see how different they are. But it, it might be just that it's, it is a different motor. We know for a fact it's a different motor. One is iron, one is uh, one is aluminum, one is union, one is Evergo. Like gold line. Oh, yeah. So nine thousand. That's yeah. That's the other one was like eight something, like eight yeah. eight one. Yeah. So um, before we stop the video, let's just real quick see how it does in the solid state because uh, yeah, there'll be about the same capacitor decade wise, but the solid state might be different because we have different metrics for for testing that now. Mm -hmm. You don't even have to let it spin down all the way if you don't want to. Just just the question, just to see if it's noisy. Okay. That's really all we want to know is, is it noisy? Okay. That's a little quieter. 
It's about the same, I think, as the other one. Definitely bedroom quiet like the other one. See if it gets any louder as it gets. No. No, that's... Definitely bedroom quiet. So, um, go back to my original video of this if you feel like it. Um... And, um, and check and see how quiet it was in the solid state in that video. Because we're doing it in a different location, which can affect that. And we have a different test rig and... Oh, yeah, everything's different, so. Okay, well, that's it for this quick and dirty video. Pete and I have a lot of fans to get to tonight and possibly some other stuff. We've got plenty to do. So, as always, thanks for watching and... Bye, fans. Bye, fans. Thanks for watching.